The final part that uh, we need to design is the center pin here. Looking at the center pin, it has a total length of three inches. The top of it is one and a half inches in diameter. The bottom part is one inch in diameter. We have a little chamfer at the end at 60 thousandths. And then finally, there's a um, 0.63 hole that goes, diameter hole that goes all the way through. We can see that through the dotted lines here and the circle here. So what we're going to do is go to Inventor, <coughs> File New, Standard IPT, go to Create, and on the XY plane what we'll do is start with the one and a half inch diameter top part, which is a half inch thick. And so I'm going to go extrude at 0.5 inches. Then I'm going to start another sketch on this face, draw a one inch diameter circle, and extrude that the remaining two and a half inches to give a total length of three inches. If we want to put a chamfer at the end, um, and it said a 60 thousandths chamfer, so 0 0.06 inches. And then finally, we want to make a hole that's all the way through. And so we can do a sketch on either end. I'll just do one at the top here. And there's two ways to make the hole. We can make a circle 0.63 in diameter and do an extrude cut. Or we can just do a point and finish the sketch and click the hole feature. And it brings this up this tab up, we can then change the diameter to 0.63 and we can have, which is already chosen, the through all button selected and we hit OK. And that gives us the, the hollow support pin.